Hi there, and thanks for joining us. I'm Rhoda Meyer. And I'm Stephanie Wong. Many of us are reaching for hybrid cloud nirvana, which makes the workplace mobility between on-premise and cloud computing ideal for our work. To help us navigate through this, we welcome Hen Goldberg, Engineering Director for Google Cloud. Nice to have you here. Hi, thank you very much for inviting me. Absolutely. Now, hybrid cloud is a common strategy that businesses look to modernize while still supporting their current applications. How does Google Cloud approach this particular challenge? So, first of all, it's important to understand why customers want to modernize and what they're looking uh, for that. And the most important thing is for them, to, in order to compete, they have to increase their developer agility and help them to be more focused. And they really want to take advantage of the amazing uh, capabilities that are available in the cloud and using new cloud services. But they have to make a decision and a choice because they cannot modernize everything at once. That's one of the concerns. The second thing is that they also have uh, concerns from regulations that require them to stay on premises. So from their perspective, it's a reality that hybrid is here to stay and they have to choose a hybrid strategy in order to modernize and advance their business. For us in Google Cloud, we understand that we need to support our customers in their journey. Okay, and our goal is to make sure that we help them reduce the risk instead of increasing the risk when going through this journey. And risks are coming in different levels. For example, um, not fragmenting your talent and allowing to create a consistent experience everywhere. And also really leveraging the existing assets you have today. So not asking them to buy new, soft, new hardware, for example, but really blending in to their existing environment. Mm. And how does this truly differ from other hybrid offerings? Google puts the user at first in the center and we understand that our customers appreciate to have choice. Okay, they want to be able to choose where they're going to deploy their workloads, what kind of tools to use, which services to use. And our goal is to make that possible while reducing risk. We do it, we do it by uh, building our platform based on open source technologies, which are uh, ensuring that their workloads are portable and we are not locking them in. And we are also now approaching multi-cloud strategically and giving consistent experience wherever customers choose to deploy their workloads. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, what components make up Anthos and how do those components work together to provide a really integrated approach for our customers? So Anthos is an opinion platform managed by Google. In the foundation, in the core of it, we are using open source technologies originated by Google like Kubernetes, Istio and Knative. But this is not sufficient for our customer to manage the heterogeneous environments they have. On top of that, we are building a multi-cloud, multi-cluster control plane that lets our customers connect to all of their environments and manage them in a consistent through a single pane of glass. We also give them tools to manage policies and controls in all of those environments. But not everything is containerized, and this is also about uh, investing with what they have today. So on top of that, we are creating a, a service management platform, which allows them to connect all their services, regardless of what the compute there is. Mm. And on top of everything, we have an awesome marketplace that allows us to provide both first party and third party applications available in all of those environments. So you just mentioned investing in what our customers are already using today. How can Anthos be used to help them modernize in place? So what we hear from our customers that when they come and they want to use new cloud services, they have first to qualify and make sure that the cloud meets their bar. Right? Let's say they want to use BigQuery or even GKE. They need to go through the specific process, usually manual process, to make sure they can let their developers use it. With GKE on-prem, they don't need to go through that process because we bring this technology into their data center and they know it meets the bar. So that's actually the fastest way for them to innovate. That's great. Now, what about config management with Anthos? How can you write multi-cluster policies right out of the box? So that's a great question. I think that the number one concern that CIOs have is how they manage risk. And specifically, how can they make sure that they know who access what resources and making sure that they know what policies are applied everywhere. And when you have more and more environments, you have to build more and more tools and have more people manage that. So Anthos config management allows you to manage those policies from a centralized place. And even if by accident or by a malicious user someone is trying to break that policy, automatically we will apply that policy and bring that environment uh, back to be compliant. 
Okay. So more environments, more tools. Can you elaborate on what we're doing to give users the visibility they need so that they can see what's happening across all these environments? Yeah, so we are leveraging open APIs, which allows us to actually integrate with every environment wherever the user chooses. And we are creating tools, centralized tools, in the control plane that gives you signals or monitoring data from all of those environments in a consistent way. And we're also leveraging things like Knative. We just announced Cloud Run as beta to give a simple and effective user experience for developers, again, to deploy to all of those environments. So when I think about it, it's not about portability of workloads, but it's actually about portability of skills. Mm. Can my developers, can my service operators use the same set of tools regardless of which environment they want to use. And by leveraging open source technologies, this is actually possible. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm curious, you know, there are, how are customers using Anthos today? And what are some of the more interesting use cases that you may have come across? I'm smiling because <laughs> ever since we've announced back then, it was CSP eight months ago as Alpha, we've seen an overwhelming excitement with our customers. So over 1,000 customers showed interest just during Next to try out uh, CSP Anthos. Mm. And we see different type of use cases. So I would say for someone like HSBC, they were excited to give their developers platform, a modern platform, without having to go through all the um, qualification, making sure that the new environment meets the bar. So they're doing both, but they know that for some of their workloads, they will have to stay on-prem. Uh, we see other customers like Colts, for example, that are looking to innovate both on-prem and in the cloud and create a consistent environment. Uh, and maybe talking about a customer like KeyBank, okay, so they are really excited about the agility. So really leveraging new tools and making sure that they can deploy quickly in other environments. So different customers see different use cases to begin with, but they're all very excited by both agility and reducing risk. Thanks, Ken, for walking us through the possibilities of Anthos. Thank you for having me. Of course.